The CruiseCraft 5 is equipped with a main breaker panel to run everything on the main floor. There is a sub-panel on the second level to power the second and third deck, which will be explained later. The 12 volt system basically runs anything low draw on the boat, including your lights, your water pumps, your docking lights, and your 12 volt outlets. Anything in the 12 volt system can virtually just stay on. The two water pumps will have to be shut off when the boat is in motion. Reason for that is the water for the boat is drawn from the lake. If the boat's moving too fast, the water pumps will not pick up and they'll just suck air. The two main water pumps are all the water throughout the houseboat. They run the toilets, the showers, the sinks, the dishwasher and the washer. When the boat is not in motion, the two water pumps can be turned on. The fuel transfer breaker can stay shut off during the trip, unless you need to fuel your ski boat, sea doo or transfer fuel to another tank. Anything in the two 12 volt columns can stay on, except for the two water pumps and the fuel transfer. Any of the breakers that say lights are all the lights for the interior of the boat. The breakers can just stay on on the panel and you can just use the light switches throughout the boat. Just ensure at night time that all the lights throughout the houseboat are shut off. The next column we're going to talk about is the main generator column. It is labeled AC Bus 1 and anything in that column the generator must be running otherwise you won't have power to anything in that column. You don't require the generator for anything below inverter 1 an inverter to as long as your battery volts are 12 volts or more. You have two Magnum remote panels which monitor inverter 1 and inverter 2. Do not forget that your 12 volt system also runs through the Magnum panel. Always ensure that they are above 12 volts for the duration of your trip. Whenever trying to recharge the batteries or run in anything in AC bus 1 all you have to do is simply start the generator. Before starting the generator, always run the blower for three to five minutes. Next, make sure that your main generator breaker is in the off position. So to start the generator, simply press down on the on button for five seconds. Press down on the start button at the same time, and once the generator is running, just release both buttons. The green light will indicate that the generator is running. Once you've waited five minutes, simply grab the breaker and turn it to the ship's generator position. Shore power will not be required for the duration of your trip unless you are staying on the dock. Excellent! Now that you have your generator running, you can shut a few things off. The generator blower is not necessary while the generator is running, only prior to starting the generator. Once your generator blower is shut off, simply check your remote panels to see that your batteries are charging. Congratulations, your batteries are now charging and you have power in AC bus 1. Once your system is fully charged, just look at your remote panel. It should read float charge. Now that your system's fully charged, it's time to shut the generator down. Before shutting the generator down, always ensure that you turn the main generator breaker to the off position. Once your generator's ran in the off position for five minutes, simply press and hold on the stop button until the generator shuts down. You will hear it shut down and the green light will shut off. If you use your water heaters, ensure that the main breaker is turned on. If you ever see a red light on the main water heater breaker, simply turn it off, turn it back on, and that will reset the hot water tanks for you. Other operations associated with these panels will be explained to you in your live orientation. And now a quick look at the sub-panel on deck 2. As I showed you before, the main breaker panel on level 1 will run anything on the first level. The sub-panel on the second level will run the second and third decks. The sub-panel on the second level runs similar to the one on the first. Please ensure when running the 12 volt system that the DC main breaker is turned on. That will supply all your 12 volt power. The 12 volt system on the second level runs exactly the same as the one downstairs. Please ensure that the water pump is shut off while the boat is in motion. AC bus one on the second level will run the steam for the shower. The two hot tub breakers are for the jets and for filling the tub and the cabin outlets are any plug-ins on the second or third level. AC bus 2 on the second level does not require the generator running. That will run your TV and the two bar breakers are for the bar on the upper deck. The circulator pumps, those are what heat the hot tub. Please ensure that the two circulator pumps are turned on. Like on your first level, when not running the generator, please ensure that your panel battery volts are above 12. 